This is the day all the Christians wait for. All of us have this anticipation. This is the birth of Christ. Hallelujah. It's not about Christmas presents under the tree. Yeah, right. (laughs) Some kind of way we lost touch. We've lost the value of what really is important for Christmas. Don't let anyone steal Christ in Christmas. We must realize whether you want to accept it or not, there's a war going on. And this war is for your soul. Don't get caught up in material things. Don't get caught up in things that are non-consequential. Get caught up in understanding that tonight the Christ is born in you. For God is in every fiber of every being. He's in the flowers that bloom and the water that flows in the air that we breathe. Christ is alive in us. And this Christmas, you've witnessed like I've witnessed, the best of people and the worst of people. It's amazing how we who call ourselves Christian forget who we are when there is a sale going on. Or heaven forbid when we lose the understanding that it's not about who gets through the intersection first or who gets through last. This trinity that we begin to worship, the holy trinity, me, 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 has got to come to an end. Those of you who know that I love to shop at my three favorite stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Sears Hardware. Those are my stores. I own stock in those stores. Because when you are not mechanically inclined, you go to those stores a lot. Amen? (laughs) And here I was on the way to Home Depot. I'm not advertising orange, but I was on the way to Home Depot because for those of you who don't know this or realize this, our grandchild is with us for Christmas. Somebody say amen. Amen. All right. And I almost got into an accident because somebody was so caught up in the hurriedness and the pressure of Christmas, they forgot common sense, common courtesy. They had to get. What's the hurry? Maybe we need to take that energy and transform that energy to remember it's important to be able to know the story of Christ. How many of us will take time this Christmas to at least tell the story of Christ at home? To get to a point of knowing the story, you heard all the scriptures. What is it if we are able to get to a point of applying what I call critical thinking to the story? Think about all of the money that was transacted at that time in the cities because what happened? There was a census, so everybody had to go back to the census. They had to come in and register. So a lot of money did what? Flew into the city in an agri-based culture. So when Mary and Joseph were trying to find a place in the inn, the innkeepers were going, hey, 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 it's good business. We are full. Critical thinking. So what happened? Did someone volunteer, go stay in my manger? Or was it, heaven forbid, a public place where any animal could come? Was Christ really born homeless? critical thinking. We must get to a point of understanding the story. We have to see 
What is it within me that has changed because the Christ has come into my life? Am I a better person? Am I doing things that I used to do and still do and can't stop but keep doing them? Or maybe the Christ has come in me and I don't do those things that I used to do. If you have not looked within and found yourself different because you have accepted Jesus, then you need to keep looking in the mirror. For it's about the Christ in you. What difference has Jesus made in your life? Are you able to look past someone's mistakes? Are you able to forgive? Are you able to love unconditionally? What is the story? What is the Christ story within you? Hear this point. 2,000 years ago, an angel appeared to Zacharias in the temple and declared these wonderful words, Do not be afraid. And then the angel appeared to Mary and uttered those words, Do not be afraid. And then the shepherds in the story, watching their flocks at night, the angel came and said, do not be afraid. So I declare this day, you will not be afraid. You will not be afraid of a lack of finances. You will not be afraid of your addictions. You will not be afraid of your ill health. You will have love, peace, hope, and joy. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm not afraid. Don't be afraid. The Christ is born in you. See yourself surrounded in hope. See yourself living in hope. See yourself surrounded in peace. And let there be peace in your home. If you can't find peace in your home, then you need to come here next Sunday, 1030. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Don't raise your hand. Put your hand up and say, I'll be here next Sunday. You know you tell the fib. <laughs> Find peace. Your homes must be places of peace. If you need to know that you're bringing a spirit into your home and your home doesn't have speed, then stay outside for a minute. Or do as those of you who know that my beautiful wife lets me do. Just go in the garage for a while. <laughs> Don't bring negative energy into your home. Let your home be a place where you know that Christ resides. That here is a place where people will be able to experience love and peace and hope and joy. We can do it for the Christ is born in you. Born this day a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. And on earth, peace, goodwill to all. Born this day is the Christ in you. Born this day is the Christ in you. Glory be to God in the highest peace.